Thanks for staying with us on News 360. Time for Mission brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida UK Aid and the EU. A community health-based planning services compound at Nyakui Kopa in the Afram Plains North District has been renovated by a non-governmental organization. Ajua Adobia Wusu reports the renovation by Network of Hope follows a TV3 news item on invasion of bats and other challenges which were hampering healthcare delivery at the facility. Nyakui Kopa is about three hours drive from Accra in about two hours on the Volta Lake from Germany. The chips compound in Nyakui Kopa serves about three communities. Residents have to travel about two hours on the Volta Lake to Germany, the nearest community to be able to assess health care. Bats took over the entire compound obstructing health delivery. The mammals destroyed the ceiling of the chips compound with the assemble while emitting a shrill sound and a bat stench. Community members were not able to assess the facility due to the stench that emanated from the center. The only health worker at the facility, Emmanuel Maynu, noted the bats usually appear at night, making it dangerous for him to even come out of his room, which is also at the facility. Car batteries used to generate power to refrigerate vaccines for immunization have not been in a good state. This compelled Emmanuel to stop the immunization process. Chief of the community says several attempts to get the bats out of the community have proven futile. An NGO, Network of Hope, after the story was aired on TV3, decided to celebrate their fifth anniversary with the people of Nyakui Kope. The health center, which was dilapidated due to the activities by the bats, has been renovated to make the place conducive for health care. Items such as mattresses, digital thermometer, batteries for solar fridge, ultrasonic bat repellents and drugs, among others, were donated to the health center. After we got footage of the video, and then we realized how bad the situation was, especially with the bat intrusion and all of that. I mean, it's, it's kind of drew some sort of emotion out of us, sort of, that drew us to, I mean, because we're actually scouting for places to carry out our December projects. After seeing the video, we have to settle for that because it was just too much. This is to help achieve Goal 3 of the Sustainable Development Goals set by the United Nations General Assembly in 2015, which aims at ensuring healthy lives and promoting well-being for all at all ages. The only health worker at the facility, Emmanuel Menu, was grateful for the support. I will thank the NGO, that is the network of hope, of what they have done. Because uh, living here was a hell for us. But they were able to uh, paint, renovate, and do everything for us. Right now, they have donated much items, which is going to help uh, in the healthcare delivery as well. And we will thank TV3 too for what we have done, because it was by you in which we got to know about uh, Network of Hope. The item they donated to will help us in the giving first aid before we can uh, refer, if it is an emergency as well. Also in Yakui Kope, the only basic school which has 158 peoples with two teachers was presented with exercise books by the community. Two trained teachers have also volunteered to go to Nyakui Kope to teach, even though they have not been confirmed yet. The chief of the community showed his appreciation to the team and called for more support to improve the lives of residents. A network in a, a problem that can help me. I was a teacher, no post roller, or the network man, Nanita, Omavau. We have a network problem. The reason most of the teachers who are posted here do not come. We also want electricity so that people will be happy to stay when they are posted here.